Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Isaiah and I'm the person who speaks randomly every day about something that's on my mind. Hopefully something interesting, typically not, but I mean there's several of you here now so I'm excited about that. I apologize for any background noise, Nettle is losing her goddamn little mind and if I go into the closet she'll try to tear the door down. So going to try and avoid that because I live in an apartment and don't want to deal with these when we finally get to move out. Anyway, today's topic. I've been watching a lot of YouTube, as I always do, and I've gone down a kind of weird rabbit hole that started with Danny Gonzalez to Drew Gooden to now this guy named Duncan Cash, Cash, Kastner. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I apologize if it's not. But... Uh, these three YouTubers and others, but because I've been watching these guys so much the past few days, um, I noticed they use the word talent a lot. And okay, that makes sense. Talent is a word that's usually thrown around, especially in the arts fields, as opposed to STEM. So like visual arts, writing, music, um, evocation, that sort of thing. You can see the word talent being used a lot to describe someone's ability to do things. Whereas skill, you usually see maybe in the trades, you can see it, um, like if you consider carpentry a trade, you can see it in that sort of thing, more hands-on welding. You can see it in the sciences, maths, that sort of thing. And it kind of irks me. So I want to go over that a bit. Why that? Why is that one of my pet peeves? Why do I refuse to use the word talent? when I'm describing someone's ability to do something, especially if it seems to be they're a natural at it. So talent is considered innate, something that you are basically born with and you are naturally good at. Cool, good, got it. Skill is considered something that you have learned that wasn't necessarily within you the entire time. Cool, got it, great. So why does it bother me that people say talent all the time, especially in the arts? Well. 100% it's because it completely ignores and devalues the amount of work and practice and learning that goes into visual arts, music, talking, because talking is hard, video editing even. The, when you say someone is talented at something, you are saying you are naturally this good. You. And unless this person has literally never picked up a brush before to paint a picture, they've practiced at some point. Like, I'm going to use myself as an example. In sixth grade, when I was 12, I joined band. I decided I wanted to play trumpet. I thought it would be fun. Um, several other people also decided to play trumpet. And I was one of the people that had a natural talent for it. I was naturally pretty okay at it, despite the fact that I have the ear of an idiot. I can't hear for shit, but I could play it very well. I could mimic it very well. Then in seventh grade, I did band again. And in the middle of the year, I got braces. So I stopped practicing because it hurt. It made my gums bleed. I hated it. I still wanted to play trumpet. I wanted to be in marching band, but I no longer actually wanted to play the trumpet. I no longer wanted to hone my talent. And that meant by the time I was 18, I was still in marching band. I was still in concert band, but there were these other students my classmates that had been in band just as long as I had and they didn't have such a natural talent to start with though I'm not saying they weren't talented they were but they spent those seven years building upon that talent creating a skill for the trumpet and they were fantastic players and me I was like last chair I was there just because I wanted to march and by the last year I wasn't even really marching I'd completely lost interest because I had taken that talent and I just tossed it away I didn't want to deal with it anymore 
same thing with art um briar my my spouse has a natural talent for drawing but if i just say they're talented then i'm ignoring the fact that they have spent time working on their art looking at art looking at tutorials they're not formally trained like me they have they're a psych major um but they have been drawing and they have been working on at it and they've created the style for themselves that is very good they are extremely skilled but because they're not formally trained because they're a hobbyist of sort people might look at that and be like oh that's a great talent help they look at me and they're like oh you're so talented at this and i was like no i disagree i've spent years learning how to do printmaking learning how to understand layout design learning how to create books and even before my formal education I spent years just reading and enjoying and understanding how book pages flip and how they're supposed to fill in your hand. And this isn't just talent. Maybe I have an innate talent for layout design, but I built on that into a skill. Briar built on their natural talent for drawing into a skill. And I can't help but feel like this talent versus skill debate also allows the layman to devalue the arts. You see this a lot with people making commissions. Um, they'll post their commission page. It will be underpriced even for the amount of work that goes into something and someone will complain, why do I need to pay $100 for a digital file? Meanwhile, it's this gorgeous 8 by 10 painting at the right resolution that they can use to send to print off for themselves if they wanted to it spent like a week's worth of time into it they're only charging like a day's worth of labor for it and i think it's because people see artists and they see musicians and they see all of these different art fields they're like you're so naturally good at this so it shouldn't cost this much and yeah that that's really it for today um i'm gonna spend the last few minutes just well i'm not even gonna really talk there's nothing much going on in my life i'm working on creating some journals uh i've sent out a couple emails to see if i can't do any get some money under the table and today i'm taking care of the fish tanks except the big one because i can't really do that one all on my own um, this is all done over a drawing that I did last night. I am not very good at drawing furries, so I'm still trying to figure all of that out. And Reddit is fun. I got lots, I've got several negative comments about my drawing of Misa as a bunny, and it's all from teenagers just being like, no, this is disgusting. Um, I'm thinking with my next video or a video a few days from now i may talk about art critique and how to do a good art critique either online or in person but until i get to that point we we'll see i don't think people understand how critique is supposed to work because i've had issues with that in college as well but that is it i hope you all have a great day today i'm going to do okay and I will see y'all next time. Goodbye.